Um, it's Tuesday and I'm driving home. That's why I got you there. Um, oh God, this weekend was insane. It was insane. I really hope you guys enjoyed the videos that I took while I was in Ohio for Rock on the Range. Uh, as of right now, I am wicked behind with videos. I feel like that's really the story of my life is constantly being behind. Um, but I'm going to take this time and when I get home and get some videos ready, get things up. Is that a turkey? That looked like a turkey. Um, yeah, Rock on the Range was incredibly awesome. I'm sore and I am sunburned. The video is not picking it up very well, which is excellent for me, but I am most definitely sunburned. Um, and this is, this is with sunscreen, so it's interesting. Uh, the second day we were at Rock on the Range, Stone Sour played, and like my entire goal that whole day was, I want to be up front where I can see Corey Taylor's glorious face. I'm like, I just want to be up there for like five minutes, and then I'm going to like skip out and go. I made it! I made it to the front, which was awesome and incredible. However, any of you that have been to big concerts, like huge ones, like I've only ever been to Rock on the Range and Rock Allegiance, but they were all kind of the same way. Um, I don't know if like Coachella or any of those other big festivals are like this, but up front, like to get up front and be up front is borderline, I would say, worse than being in a mosh pit. It is worse than being in a mosh pit because I got stepped on. Both the tops of my feet are bruised. Uh, I got bruises on my legs. I got kicked in the nose by a crowd surfer, which I'm 110% surprised that my nose is not bruised, but if I touch it, it eats a little tender. Eats just a little tender. Um, but I got to see Corey Taylor. So, it was worth it in my brain. It was 110% worth it. Feeling achy today was worth seeing Corey Taylor. Hands down. Also, Sunday, Baby Metal played, and hello best performance of rock on the range i'm gonna make that bold statement best rock on the range performance ever um it was just incredible oh god uh, the aesthetic and everything this is gonna be a long clip don't care uh the aesthetic of the whole concert of their whole performance was just mind-blowing, which I knew that was how it's going to be, because the Japanese, they just are on point with everything. Their attention to detail is just insanely awesome. Hands down. Hands down. Um, I have discovered, and I'm going to get a lot of booze for this, but um, I wasn't impressed with the perfect circle or tool. I found the performance boring, and... I don't know. I'm glad they came here in Rochester, was it last year or over the winter or something like that. It's like $100 to go see Tool. And I'm really glad I did not spend that money to go see Tool because it was just, I don't know, not my cup of tea. I'm going to get a lot of dislikes for that, but I was not impressed. Anybody else that went to Rock on the Range? What was your favorite concert, or concert, uh, performance? Who was your favorite? Uh, I did find some good bands that I like that I've never heard of. Um, Ten Years, and, uh, Icy Stars. I loved Machine Gun Kelly. That was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. It was just, it was a very good weekend, and I really hope you guys enjoyed everything. I just edited some videos and then
I'm going to make dinner. It's going to be a tastefully simple dinner. Duh. Um, this is one my sister just posted. It's like a stir fry something or other. It's supposed to have uh, pasta in it, but I'm going to do rice. So you just put everything in the pot. It's a chicken stir fry. It'll be delicious. So um, I'm going to make that. Here we go. Oh, I will also leave the um, recipe down below where you can get it. And I always have the information for my sister's Tastefully Simple uh, page down below. If any of this stuff seems interesting, interesting to you, you can always get it. Let her know that I, I sent you over there because she will appreciate it. And it's delicious food. It's delicious stuff. You should get on that train.
confession. I feel like I should be in one of those creepy movies that has like, I don't know. This is the mask that I'm using today. Can I look at the picture? Do I? Do I look like the picture? Do I look like this picture? <laughs> Love these face target masks. I really do. I need to get in back into unboxing Face Tori. I just haven't lately. There's just incredibly amounts of work to do, but I love Face Tori. Twenty minutes like this. Hold on. Where'd you go? I got energy, so I'm drinking a brewski, and I'm about to go do the laundry skis. What do you feel about my gold mask? Uh, you look like gold dust, the WWE wrestler. It Maybe looks... WWF back in the day. It looks shiny in the... the light. What? 24 karat gold! 24 karat magic in the air! <laughs> from Asia, too, right? As Bruno Mars would say, yeah, man, it's from my, uh, face, Tori. Asian gold! Asian gold! Asian gold! Korean gold! It is cool how, like, like in the light, if you step back in the dark, it looks really creepy. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, that's really weird.